Oh, we're dead. We're so fucking dead. We're so dead. Fuck. Oh, God. <sighs> Daddy, I don't want to die. <laughs> Honey, what are we going to do? Babe, let me handle this. Please, sir, do not hurt my wife and kids. You can hurt me, just not them. Everyone just needs to relax. I'm not going to kill you guys. I'm just going to kill one of you guys. But I'm not going to choose who I'm killing. You guys will. And then everybody else is free. Wait, that's it? Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, oh my god, Jarrett. Jarrett, Jarrett, Jarrett. Okay. All right, Jarrett it is. Is this a fucking joke? Why me? Jarrett, you're the middle child. I mean, this is kind of a blessing for us. I feel your pain, man. I was a middle child, like, too. What the actual fuck? And thank you, Lord, for yet another great day. Amen. Amen. All right, I'm starting. Oh, honey, don't forget about Jared. Ooh, yeah, I almost forgot. Hey, Jared, I uh, got your food. Can I, can I eat with you guys tonight? Yeah, tonight's not really a good night for us. Maybe on your birthday, though. Thank you guys so much for coming in today to talk about your son. I mean, you guys probably have busy schedules. And All right, let's just cut to the chase. What did my son do wrong? Actually, quite the opposite. Your son won student of the month. Uh, his grades are the best in the class. And I also wanted to read you some of his poetry what? that he- Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this thing? No, I mean Jared. Oh, I see. You're probably talking about our oldest son, Alec. Honey, just tell Alec to come in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just, Alec, Alec, come in here. Is the school giving me another award? I don't know him. Then McKenna? Oh, you, you meant our daughter. McKenna, do that dance. Your father needs the renegade. No, your son Jared, who is right there. Fine, uh... Thank you for choosing Applebee's. Can I get the name and party size, please? Um, Birch, and there's five of us. All right. Um, it seems as though we do have a wait for parties of five, but we do not have a wait for parties of four. I can't wait. I am so hungry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. How long is the wait for five? The wait right now for parties of five is 15 minutes. I can't wait 15 minutes. Okay, hear me out. We could do four and leave one person out. Guys, come on. 15 minutes is not that long. All right, Jared, here are the keys. Uh, just, you can turn the car on, but not the whole time because I don't want to waste all that gas. All right, uh, we'll bring you that food. Are you serious? This is so not fair. <sighs> I really thought we were gonna have to eat with him. Hey, Alec, can you help? Are you playing Smash Bros? Yeah, obviously. Can I play? Sure, but you have to use your own controller. I don't want your nasty ass hands on mine. Ah, good game. That was our closest game yet. You're honestly not that bad. Want to go again? Sure. You know what? He's honestly not that bad. Hey, uh, can you help me with... Are you, are you playing video games with, with that thing? Oh, uh, uh, of course not. No, uh, Jarrett was just annoying me and I was gonna come get you to tell him to leave. Wait, what? Jarrett, what did I tell you about annoying your brother? And you still haven't changed that ugly ass face like I asked you to. You are grounded. One month. Oh, what the fu- Jared, we need to talk. Dad? I'm, uh, I'm here about your mom. She, uh... What happened to mom? Your mom's fine. She took your brother and sister to go get breakfast. I'm gonna meet them there after I talk to you. But she wanted me to come in here and tell you that she doesn't want you calling her mom anymore. Why? She says it embarrasses her, and quite frankly, I want you to do the same thing with me. So, from now on, it's Don and Rodney, all right? Can you at least turn the lights off? No. Jarrett, I'm assuming you know what today is, right? Wait, did you guys actually remember my birthday? Oh, today's, today, today's your birthday. You guys didn't know it was my birthday, did you? Oh, uh, uh, of course we did. Uh, happy seven to six. Eight? Ha ha happy birthday. Uh, anywho, uh, it's your mother and I's date night, and uh, we need someone to watch the house. And since your brother and sister are already going to friends' houses tonight, uh, you're going to have to stay and watch the house. Well, my friends are going to throw me a party tonight to celebrate. Can they, can they just come here? Honey, you know we don't allow friends over when we're not home. 
But you guys let McKenna throw a party last time. And would you look at that? Uh, we're running late for a reservation, so we gotta go. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, oh my gosh, Don? Christy? I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, I see you got your three kiddos here. I don't think I've met them yet. Well, this is Alec, and he's our oldest, and he is so smart. He's studying to be a doctor, and we are just so, so proud of him. Hey. Next to him is our youngest child, McKenna, and she is studying to be a nurse. She is the most thoughtful and caring person I've ever met in my life. It's so nice to meet you. And next to her is, uh, is our, our middle child, Jared. He's, uh, he's really funny, funny. He's really funny. That's the best you could do. Well, what do you want me to say? I'm not gonna lie to her and say that I'm proud of you for being a business major, okay? You're just lucky that you're allowed with us in public, okay? Why do you keep breaking down my door? I can't believe that their father took the two kids I actually like and then left me with this one. Just gross. Well, I might as well start some conversation while I'm here. So, so, do you, do you like, do you like stuff? Wait, what, what'd you say? Like, like what, what stuff do you like? Well, well, you, well, you've never asked me that before. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I like basketball. My favorite team's Miami Heat. Uh, I like football. Uh, my favorite team's the New York Giants. Uh, oh my God, he is still talking. I, I have to leave. I, I, I can't listen to him anymore. I like to read the I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a drive because I, this, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Wait, but you can't go on a drive. Dad took the car. Then I'll fucking walk. All right, Mr. Birch, you are being charged with four counts of murder in the first degree. How do you plead? Not guilty. I've never even been to California. Okay, and I believe you have a witness here to validate your story and clear you of any charges? Yeah, I brought my mom, and she was with me the whole night. <sighs> yes, unfortunately, I, I am his mom. Okay, so the only question we have for you is where were you the night of November 4th? And just keep in mind that your answer will determine whether or not your son spends life in prison or not. Yes, I was at home watching the middle child that night. Wait, did you say life in prison? Like, life away from home? Um, yes, and just keep in mind that you are under oath. So wait, I'd never have to see him again? Mom, please. Your Honor, he did it. I was not with him that night. No, he's guilty. Well, in that case, the court finds you guilty on all four accounts. Life in prison. <coughs> hey, Jarrett. Yeah, what's up? So your mother and I have some good news and some better news, uh, depending on how you uh, look at it. But uh, the good news is that your grandma's here. Oh, that's great. Hey, Grandma. Why, hello there, Jeremy. It's Jarrett, but okay. Uh, what's the better news? So the better news is that your grandma's actually going to be staying in your room while she stays here. How is that better news? Where am I sleeping? Now, to be fair, I did say depending on how you look at it. So from your grandma's point of view, that's great news. She gets her own bed. Uh, from your mother and I's perspective, your floor lower than us at night. So that means we're not as close at night. So that's great for us. Uh, you know, for you, you're going to be sleeping in the basement. So, eh. The basement? The basement that doesn't have a couch or bed? It's just concrete floor? Well, then just use part of your blanket to sleep on. Looks like Grandma's already made herself at home and kind of has my blanket, so do you have a blanket for me? I do. This is a towel. <laughs>